the University of Oxford um, and a couple other, like the Iraqi Museum and a few other institutions, they went back to Eridu after an extended period of time of not being at the site. There was work done in the late 1800s and they were in the city of Eridu excavating and then that kind of stopped. And then they, they went down and they revisited again the site in, from the years 1946 to 1948, and they found tablets. There's even one displayed in the University of Oxford yeah, Eureka. today. Right? They found information. It's not like they went there, they didn't discover anything, and they decided to move on. They found tablets, displayed them, identified... In the British Museum. Yeah, right? They displayed, and they found where the first city on Earth was, and then, poof, they just abandoned the site that... The site itself has been ignored, and the last time it was excavated was 1948. And then all of a sudden, there must have been some kind of a memo <laughs> brought down, right? Where, hey, let's, um, let's leave this site alone and not touch it ever again, basically. Why did this happen? Yeah, you know, well, how could this be? There's got to be a reason, right? There's two major reasons in my mind. The first reason is, you know, this city being as old as it is, specifically mentioned as being the first city, right? And having that evidence there for it, it would completely change the narrative of human history. I mean, we would have to completely rewrite this whole story, yes, right? Course. So you have that issue right there as well. But I think there's an even deeper issue. And I think it gets into religious context. Because of the way that Enki became demonized in, in religion, he was the serpent. That was his symbol. He was the serpent god, or the metamorphosis that eventually became the dragon, like you see in a lot of ancient cultures. Enki became this Satan figure in the underworld. He became a threat. He created us in perfection. He was, he was the creator, crafty creator god of, of our history, and he became demonized because it goes back to the, the story of the Garden of Eden. He is the serpent that tempted Adam and Eve to eat of the, the fruit of the tree of knowledge. And remember, there's this God figure in that story that didn't want that. And I really think that I've, uh, you really look at the parallels of that story, that that God figure is Enlil.